King News, all exposed. My dear, you will be truly shocked and surprised as Aisha reveal what Nigerian government is planning, a plot to derail the Peter Obi's movement campaign with charges being instigated against Peter Obi. So there are charges, you know, they are looking at every way, looking through the uh, microscope to see if there will be any figment of anything that can be held against Peter Obi. In case you are not aware, when government or politicians are having a discussion and Peter Obi comes into the matter, they get offended and immediately they say, please, let's change the topic. And they change the course of discussion because they can't understand how Nigerian youth all of a sudden there is an obedient movement. And whether you like it or not, Peter Obi is making a real wave in terms of the youth population believing that he could just be the one who could bring about a difference and a change in governance to bring Nigeria to the desired position. Many politicians are not happy and Aisha is revealing to us that there is a plot awaiting Peter Obi in terms of elections uh, so as to derail him and keep him you know in charges and what have you let's get all the details the co convey of bring back our girls movement aisha yusuf on sunday accused the federal government of planning to derail the 2023 election campaign of the labor party presidential candidate peter obi with a trumped up charges against him the activist who stated this in a video posted on her Twitter handle also accused other parties of gang up against Peter Obi's supporters. She also slammed people who branded the former Nambra state governor as a sponsor of violence, saying there is nothing as such. The youth are just concerned that this is one person who can understand their plight. Yusuf said they are scared they will gang up as they did in NSAS protest, they will come together and do whatever they can to make sure they put the spark, they put the spinal on the wheel. What they are trying to do is portray Peter Obi as a sort of supporter of violence. How, when, where, I can't tell you for now. During the NSAS protest, they kept saying the movement will be hijacked. We saw how the protesters were the protesters were claimed and did everything right. They even picked pieces of paper from the road to show that we are only expressing what we see and what we want changed. The government brought in the talks to, to criminalize the protest. Police vehicles, police were the ones who vandalized the people. We had police vehicles were used as transport for the talks who attacked the protesters and caused the mayhem. The government ended up blaming the protesters. Many life has been devastated since then. Now they are doing the same thing with Peter Obi. The government is trying to make him responsible for what he did not do. When they will bring their, when there's any violence, Peter Obi's name is called. They will now say Peter Obi puts on a defense. This is what they are planning. Nigerian youth, we must be ready. If we feel Peter Obi is a person who could bring a change to our nation, let's support him because Nigerian Buhari's government wants to find an occasion to accuse him and to bring him down. But we must never allow it. We can't allow it. They don't mean us well. Peter Obi is the only one who has given us an opportunity and given us the, the option of a better tomorrow. All they want to do is ensure that they put Nigeria in that place where we cannot speak so that they can continue to have their way. So this is what is happening. Aisha Yusuf, if you know her very well, she's speaking in terms of some of the devastation going on currently today and saying, Nigerians, it is about time we begin to rise up to the occasion and ensure that those who want to perpetrate evil and continue to cause devastation are not given an opportunity to continue in that light and in that regard. All they want to do, you know, is portray and do things that favors them in every way. They, irrespective of what is happening, they can't be bothered. Okay, so this is what is happening right now. There is serious, you know, there are serious issues ongoing. Okay, there are serious issues ongoing, and we cannot afford to continue in that light. Everybody must speak out and must ensure 
that we come out of the current devastation. There is need for Nigerians to rise to the occasion and for us to ensure that at the end of the day, okay, the true persons who should be leaders become leaders and things are sorted out quickly because whoever becomes the president will go ahead and appoint, you know, ministers and the rest of the cabinets to work with him or her. And then that those people in turn will be the ones, the voices and those who are representing the government in those instances. For instance, what is the minister of um, education doing? Okay, he went ahead and he was contesting for president or the minister of transportation as we speak before the whole election and he ran, ran around the stadium. Guess what happened? The same man, the same train he tried to put together, people were already in captivity and he can't be bothered. People were seriously in captivity and the man could not be bothered as we speak. Some are still in captivity. Okay, the government of Nigeria, we're talking about this country where there is no decorum. In Kaduna State is where we have almost all the military training in the country, yet it's one of the states where religious intolerance is the order of the day, okay, where people are having all kinds of, you know, things being done, and nobody can particularly speak in terms of how change can truly come, you see, so there are real issues and why every one of us must do all we possibly can to ensure that we do not allow, okay, the current devastation to continue. It is high time we make a difference and there is a change. It is high time we ensure that, you know, things change for the better. Other than that, there are real issues on ground. Every one of us have got a point of call and a point of duty to ensure that we stand for what is right and we defend our cause. Listen, Nigerians, if we don't rise up, imagine a lawmaker, a lawmaker beating up a journalist. Why? The journalist spoke and he was not happy what the journalist said as a result. He went ahead and is beating up the journalist, a lawmaker, no decorum, no orderliness. And then they tell you they want to lead the country. We should be very careful who we pick as leaders. We should sincerely be careful. These are terrible. These are people who have no iota of concern for the nation. They don't even have decorum to be leaders. They don't even know what anything, you know, that, that needs to be done for the country to be changed and to be in the right perspective, you see. Sadly, these are the people we can see. Sadly, these are the people who you and I can tell, okay, that, you know, uh, position themselves as leaders, but there is really no truth in all of this. There is really no truth. So leave us a comment. Don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. God bless. Have a lovely and a fantastic day from us. It's bye for now.